What's wrong with her? She's loud. She's a Westie with no fashion sense. You can talk. Some of my best mates are Westies. I rest my case. It's her CV that I care about, not her wardrobe. She might be a bit full on, but she's got the experience. Bet she has. I am so jealous of Waverley. The week I've had an ED. Three months holiday would be wonderful. Slices, it dices, and the unique garden shoes. That... You toad. <sighs> You're looking at you, Pearl. Don't be so mean. We should be somewhere more private anyway. Like your room? It's a tip. Give me a sec. I don't care. Come on, what do you think I'm a slob on our first date? Yeah, i got heaps to do, see ya. Hang on, Scarlett. I haven't had a chance to thank you for setting me up with Jake. I didn't. Don't even try. I know what your pathetic little game was. All I had to do was ask Jake for his cell phone number. And I've got it now. His real one. It was just a joke, hey? Me and Tasha just fooling around. Huh, sort of. Just uh, don't look under the bed. I promise. Why don't we have something to eat first? Scarlet was just offering to make us a snack. Which Scarlet? Sure. Just the time. Oh, um, where's Vinny? Oh, uh, he's not coming. He's got uh, some big family thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what he told me. Too bad, eh? Okay, everyone. Uh, what did it say in all? Uh, before you all dig in, I'd like oh, to. Oh, excuse me, Dad. Do you mind if I say something first? Kōrero. Oh. Kia. Well, uh, tēnā <laughs> um, When I arrived a couple of years ago, I was just passing through. Bit of a man in a hurry. I wanted to get my hands on my trust fund and jump on the next plane. But uh, Dad had other plans. Didn't think I was ready for the money. So instead of discovering the world, I discovered my family. And a new life. But now it really is time to move on. So I just wanted to say thank you. And I hate goodbyes, especially at five o'clock in the morning. So don't any of you even think about getting up to see me off, okay? Faka painga in a kai hei oranga mutati nana me te wairua. Amen. 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 Woo! Wait, dig in. Come out for a drink, come on. I'm being joined by the very foxy Siobhan any minute now. No, I'm not trying to set you up. She's fun. I'm being old sad sack then. Bye. Oh, sorry, I'm so late. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I was just trying to persuade a mate to come out for a drink, but he won't. He's suffering. A bad case of unrequited love. You don't look too cheap for yourself. Oh, I'm OK. I've just got... Oh, sorry, I have to take this. Hi, Dad. I calm down. No, Dad, just go to bed. No, I can't come back over. I'm busy. I said no. Go to bed. I'll ring you in the morning. <laughs> Families, eh? More trouble than they're worth. My dad's got a few problems, Right. He's an alcoholic. My mum left him when she found out the house was being sold under them. Oh. Unpaid taxes. Anyway, now he's on a sickness benefit living this rat hole of a unit. And depending on you. 
and God knows what he'd do if I wasn't working. Every cent of his goes on the booze, and when it's gone, he gets depressed and the phone calls start. Am I making you cry yet? <laughs> I said no goodbyes. I'm just making sure you haven't nicked off with my travel razor. No, it's your handheld GPS that I really want. Take it. Go on. No, it's dead. I'm just kidding. Honestly, I don't want it. Thank God for that then. Yeah, you hesitated. Damn right I did. I love that toy. Kalkwell <laughs> Tick. Check. Passport. Check. You've got enough money? Yeah, thanks. Are you sure? Because if you need... Dad, Dad, I'm fine. I've got to go. Yeah, of course you do. Bye. Mā te atua koe, e manaki, e tiaki i ngā wakatoa. We're back with the staff of Shortland Street at the slightly later time of half past 11 tomorrow morning. And tonight at 10.15, Con Murphy and Anne Kastner back for another series of Crime Call. We'll hear on RTE One.